Well, hi folks. Time to plant out the old leeks now. I've been growing these in a polystyrene tub in the polytunnel since about early March. And they're ready to go in now. So I'll just show you how I go about it and what the procedure is. It's not hard at all. The first thing I'm going to do is just separate all these in this box into separate plants. There's no cute way of doing it. I'll just take the old clump out and then separate them into a factor. Just lift them out. They'll lift out, hopefully. It's a bit brutal, but they're not the strong, strong little thing. So there we go, there's the clump of plants. So I'm just going to carefully tease the plants out. I like to plant them when they're about this size. Perhaps about a bit bigger than a foot long now. Probably getting on for 18 inch some of them. They've got a nice set of roots on them. So like I say, I'm just going to separate, just tease the, tease the roots out and separate all the plants into individual plants, keeping as much root on as possible. And then I'll just use the best ones because I've got plenty more than I need. So I'll just separate all these out. So that's some of the best uh, leeks separated now. I'm not sure how many I need. I've got some smaller ones spare in the box. So I'll just show you what you do now, well, what I do, as far as uh, planting them goes. My weapon of choice is my dibber. And I've set a little zip tie to uh, six inches. If you just uh, give me a second, I'll just check that, that, that it is six inches. Hang on. One, two. Yeah, it is six inches, so uh, now I'll just get on and dig the holes. Now, depending on how big you want your leeks, is how close you want to make your holes. So, I'm not a big, I'm not bothered about getting giant leeks, so I tend to plant mine about nine inches apart each way, so nine inches apart in the row and nine inches between the rows. You get smaller leeks, but you can take them a bit earlier and you get more sort of weight per square yard, if you will. But if you want to grow big lakes, then you can plant them about a foot apart and anything up to about 18 inches apart in rows, and that'll give you give them more room and you get a bigger lake. So with the old uh, calibrated dibber, all I'm going to do is just push it in, up to the mark, take it out, dip it in again if it's too, some of the soil falls in. I'm not measuring this, this at all, I'm just doing it by eye. The sort of spacings I think I'm, I'm at. So we'll get on and do all the holes and then show you how easy it is to plant them. Right then folks, that's 50 holes dibbed now. Now it's just a matter of plonking them in. Now the reason you do them in holes is, oh, ow, kneeling, is if we plant these on the flat, then the part that we want to be white will be green because it'll get sunlight. So the idea of planting them in a hole is to bury a sort of six inches of the stem as they grow up, which is called blanching, which, keep, which keeps the light off so they can't photosynthesize, photosynthesize, and therefore they become white. Otherwise, if you, like I said, if you just planted that there, it'd grow up as big, but you'd end up with a green bitter shaft so what we do now some people chop some of the roots off and half of the tops off for some reason I've tried it both ways and I don't bother all I do is simply plonk one plant right to the bottom of the hole like that simply as that simple as that just stick it in get all the roots right to the bottom of the hole just poke them in so the roots are at the bottom they look a bit strange for a week or two until they start growing but once they started rooting from the bottom they'll perk up but it couldn't be easier just plonk them in like that so I'll get on and do the rest and I'll show you the most important bit which is to get them watered in without filling the hole in so I'll just get on and uh, stick the rest of these in right then that's 50 of those planted in now and the worst thing you can do now is actually to fill the holes in because what will happen is say you fill the hole in then you'll get soil in between the leaves like that and they'll stay in the shaft and then once you come to harvest them you'll get like sandy leeks 
or as I like to call it, you'll get a gritty shaft. And you don't, nobody likes a gritty shaft. So the idea now is just to fill the hole with water, which will settle just enough soil around the roots to cover the roots with a bit of sort of muddy soil and water and get them rooted. So what I like to use is a watering can with a bit of hose pipe stuck in the end. Then it's controllable. You can just stick your finger on the end, guide the water in. Like so, and that'll just wash enough soil off the side of the hole just to cover the roots up but not fill the hole in. So it's a lot easier. If you try and do it with the watering can, you'll get it all over the place and you'll probably end up filling the hole completely well with the soil, which is not what you want. So basically, that's it. I'll just uh, go along the whole row, water each hole like this. And that's about all you need to do really. Just leave them and they look after themselves. So we'll just get on and finish these. So that's it folks, 50 leaks planted and watered in now. If I can just show you down one of the holes, perhaps, of just where I've washed the soil. Just fill them up with water and it's just washed enough soil just to completely cover the roots. That one's still draining and that's plenty. That's all they need. So that's it really job done, nothing more than he's doing with them, apart from just doing a bit of weeding and uh, they'll be ready in late summer, early autumn time. So that's that about, that, that's about it folks, <laughs> planting out my leeks. See you later.